mentioned you're also doing not not as uh, much of the sprinting side of things these days, a bit more longer endurance <laughs> kind of running on the, the you said yep. the dark side. But, uh, <laughs> you, you've, a you've sprinter gone, doing long distance is a big no-no. Uh, <laughs> That's why. <laughs> so doesn't happen done, a lot. You've done the, the half marathon on the Gold Coast in July 2011. Um, do you have any yep. other... Do you have any other events that you got your eye on that you're going to work towards? Uh, I sort of was, I wouldn't mind doing Noosa actually, but I, I've had, um, I had a torn plantar fascia and I'm sure a lot of your listeners have been through this. Yeah. When you got a plantar fascia issue, it's massive. <laughs> it takes forever. So I was in a boot. So I'm just coming back from that. It took me probably nearly 12 months to get over that, which was a bit frustrating. Uh, so I'm back now running, but I'd love to do something again. I'd love to do something with Cantu again. I think I'd like to do another half marathon. So whether it's um, up on the Gold Coast again, because I love that because it's flat, because one of the things coming back from being a sprinter, that's why I can't sprint anymore. I've torn my um, Achilles so often that now it flares up. So I can't do a lot of hills. If I'm running uphill, it really aggravates it. So um I try to keep off the hills if I can. So um, Gold Coast is pretty flat. So that might be a goal I'd like to do possibly in July if I can get back to it again. Awesome. Well, we'll keep our eyes out to see how <laughs> you do with that. It won't be fast, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able to see it. It'll be slow. <laughs> but aside from all your achievements, you know, we've, we've, the, the listeners have heard, you know, in the intro and as we've gone through your experiences in the different, different Olympics, um, you've achieved so much, but... I guess you say your your probably your biggest achievements in life have been your your beautiful family, so uh, Nicholas yep. and Gabriella and your husband yeah. Mark. So you can tell us a bit more about you know how that's influenced your life. Oh well, um, I think one of the things. Well, Mark and I got together when I was nineteen, so he's been through the whole journey of being an athlete and put up with me throughout <laughs> the whole process, um, which has been fantastic. I've been very lucky. Um, and then, yeah, just having Nick and Gabriella, I just absolutely adore them. You know, I, um, you know, they're definitely the best thing I've ever done in my life, ever done in my life. life. And um, even now, Nick's 20 and Gabriella's nearly turning 18. It's, um, um, yeah, it's, I just couldn't imagine not having them. So I think that's my most important job is being a mum to them by far. And, you know, I've, I've loved watching them grow and develop and, they're really great kids. So we're very lucky. We've got such great kids. Yeah, the they, best for sure. They, they get into the running as the sprinting as well. Well, actually, Nick is really quick, uh, but I couldn't, I, I, he wasn't that keen um, on actually sprinting. Um, he He's pretty quick. He plays soccer now. He was playing rugby, but we had a couple of injuries there. So thank God he's not doing that again. So he's playing soccer again, which is great. So he's very, very quick on the field. I'd love to get him to run. I reckon he'd do pretty well. Um, Gabriella does love her running. Uh, she did her ACL playing netball two years ago and then did this incredible bracing protocol where she didn't have surgery and the uh, ACL reattached. Oh, wow. And so, yeah, it was, it was an incredible. I mean, it's, it's going to be published, I think, with Melbourne University. But um, she then won the uh, under 20s 100 and 200 meters last week which was pretty special so um she's definitely gone through the resilient side of thing of coming back from an injury <laughs> like her like you know very much like what I did and just to see her just achieve that last weekend after everything she's been through was pretty special I must admit yeah for sure great that she's got that resilience and congratulations to her mm. well. we might um if I can I might see if there's any um you know protocol papers or any information about that research that's I will apparently it's being published soon so you probably have to get published first and then um yeah it's it's incredible yeah. um and the story behind it's incredible and what she had to do was pretty like I can't even believe now she did it to be honest with you because it's not easy so um yeah she did everything right to do it so one thing she is is resilient I can assure you <laughs> Really for fascinating, sure. and I look forward to, to hearing more about that. Yeah, once it's all published, I'll let you know, yeah. and I can tell you all about it. Yeah, for sure. Um, mm. What was the best piece of advice you ever received? Um, I've got had a lot, but I think Dad's my dad used to say and still does. You can't buy experience at the corner store, 
And I think that's in everything in life. You know, sometimes you you know you can you can tell people things, but sometimes they just got to experience it to learn it as well. And once you learn it, I think that's how you grow and develop, and, and it brings the best and uh, best out of you in the end. So I think that's very true. Fantastic. And I guess the be- the most well, the best advice you could give to any young athletes out there that trying to fulfill their dreams. Fulfill their dreams. Um, I would say consistency. There's there's key factors for it okay one is consistency the other one's hard work um you need to love it you really need to love what you do um you need to be resilient and which also goes with to never give up so like you would talk about kids who have talent but they may have talent but if they haven't got the hard work the dedication and the mental strength then it's not going to all come together so I sort of look back on my career and like I I mean I know you said that I ran quick when I was 14 I mean I said it too when I was 14 but I wasn't a star kid if that makes sense so so I see now in athletics there's these star kids and there was a lot of kids that were big names and I look at record books now as kids and then you think, where were they later? And there's a reason that some are there later and some aren't. And I, it's just not talent. It's attitude as well as hard work and consistency. So it makes a big difference. And if they've got all that and they put all that together, and I think anything's possible for sure. So that hard work, grit, consistency. Grit, consistency, attitude, uh, resilience. Yeah. Fantastic. Really, And love. But you've got to love it. Passion. Gotta love it. Gotta enjoy it. Gotta be passionate about Gotta it. Gotta enjoy it. Like I say to my athletes, I want you to get on that starting line and smile because if you enjoy it, then anything, everything else is going to come together. Everything will follow. Yeah. 